Yes, British man. Um, how do you feel about Arcane? Arcane? Yeah, the the Arcane is a bunch of uh, f wanky shit. Yeah, uh, all right. Um, the the show is shite. Um, uh, the characters don't make any sense. Why is stupid? Everything about the damn show is retarded. I hate everything. It's stupid. And um, and uh, you must shut your pie hole about this show being good. It's not good. It's fucking shite. Move off the fucking law, mate. Shut up, British man. I mean, look. You need to go clean your teeth because you're fucking spewing putrid out of that mouth. You know. You don't go brush your teeth because you're British. All right, shut up. Like, you people are always cynical as shit. Like, you guys are always miserable of everything. So, like, go watch Star Trek. The good riddance, then. I would like to see you in hell when I get back from my old drunky friend down to the pub. Hello there, and welcome back to another video. So, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I... This is the final act or final chapter, final series, finale of a story... So, I'm not going to make this too long, because I, I, again, this is another, I just watched, like, not too long ago, like, I think just a couple, of, like, five minutes after the finale, so, yeah, so, I'm just going to give you a quick, like, input of, I break down the three episodes and I'll tell you what I think of it as a whole because I think I got I kind of got the gist of how I feel about the uh, season two and Arcane as a whole well let's just get into episode seven pretend like it's the first time this is the episode where it focuses on Echo and Harmendinger where where they're at and Jay stirring the whole um transportation of the of the, the um the hex tech arcane thing right um so it was literally the, the whole episode is about their um their exploration about where they're at so echo and harmendinger were at the um was on like the 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 alternate version of what happens if it was like, um, yeah, like what happens if Vi didn't survive and everyone else um, had a better path, but not Vi? It was literally, that's like the alternate version where um, uh, Silco was was good and happy and, and you know, was good. Vander's alive. The the guy's alive. Um I'm pretty sure a diversion of powder is powder than Jinx. Because uh, she didn't really go through a trans transition at that time. So, and because Vi wasn't alive during the... Um, yeah, she didn't transition because of Vi. So it, it makes sense that she'll still be powder after she died from the first time they... Was it? No, it was like the time they stole uh, Jace's, um, you know... Um, spheres, hex tech spheres, um, and th th that one is such a like a very mind. I was not surprised. Um, I was not expecting that to be where their echo was at the whole time. Cause I thought that he'd be like I don't know, like a positive version of the arcane, but it took him like way, 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 way. way, 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 way different history um you can say multiverse but I, I i just don't like using that word multiverse i think i'll just say alternate reality altered version of history he was in and just that perspective and also a good in-depth of echo because i was gonna say like if we just get half we're just gonna have him at like the end which he did but like um you know end of just Having the finishing blow in the finale, and that's all he's gonna have. I would have been a very like disappointed, but no, I'm surprised. Like, um, happily surprised that like we get to have focus on him, um, showing his invention, um, yeah, invention of how he gets the do over power, like in the game, and also 
has a, some type of perspective of how he felt um, during the time where he was, you know, happy and then just be vengeful against Silco and Jinx and all that. And there's an, another interesting thing that I like and I didn't know they would do is that um, we'll do um, they, they, they would have do I the thing I didn't. Uh, oh, my gosh. I was expecting them to expecting them to do was the um, goes was it one point um after or it was before or after what was the first season of Arcane um they had a song where they're hinting at like he- Echo and Powder had a thing right and I was like they're not gonna do it in the sh- in season two there's no way they'll have the time all that right um. To my surprise, they actually made it um, a reality. It's it's actually canon that they 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 did have a thing, and of course, well, we know what happened at the end. Um, if you watch it, um, if you watch this video, I'm pretty sure you already saw the three, the third, the, um, the three episodes of the third act that you know what happened. But, but yeah, like um. But in this reality, I was not expecting them to actually be a thing and have the whole, like, dance thing and all that. It's actually, like, really, really interesting to see it like that. Um, And the way, like, and I don't know if the, it, it, um, if Harmon Dinger is dead or he sacrificed himself to be transported or be stuck in that era forever. Or not error, but that reality forever. I'm, but we don't even see his body, so I'm pretty sure... There's two things. He died, or he transported. I think... Deep down inside, I think he teleported, but I think that meant... Especially, like, hinted at, like, the Act 2, where... Um... Um... What's her name? Embessa, you know, like, sacrificed the guy to become, you know evaporated i think that correlates to this where i think harmendinger a uh, harmendinger sorry died from it and i don't think we can see him again but i could be wrong but because you know we, maybe we will see him like in the next story in this world universe thing but i really think he not not like J- jason victor i think he actually did died except for echo echo um, teleported back to his reality and stuff like that. And, um, and also in the Jace's, um, perspective of where he was at, him by himself, um, walking around and seeing like what, you know, Hextech have done with, with Victor and he's seeing it all and, you know, and suffer and, you know, and, uh, anxious, uh, alone, self doubts, um, suffering, like from just being like <laughs> in prison, like um, like alone, not just in prison, um, just surviving alone of like like from a broken leg, not knowing how you can survive this and how to get out. And he just, you know, time passes by. He did what he can to fix his leg, get out, and get to the very top to realize that I got to stop Victor. And that was it from his side. And that was like the whole episode, really, of what happened. So, I really liked the episode. I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it. I liked the... I like both their, you know, Echoes and Chase's um, sides of the, of, of the arcane of of the what what um we yeah, had what ifs but also like shows how, like how much things change when Vander was around and Vi especially Vi was around if she you know her passing away and everyone else lives shows that like yeah a lot of things has changed because of Vi as well as Vander um proved to show like how much you know, 
everything changed with them around. So it's really interest, interesting to see it like that. Um, yeah, uh, when we get to episode 8, um, Killing is a Cycle, where it's a build up to the finale, where we have Jace, uh, you know, confronts, um, I forgot her name, Miranda, uh, is her name, um, Marida, Mirada, Mira, Miranda, Amanda, um, Mel, that's her name, Mel, um, where she finally, you know, another thing is, like, Mel, like, when she got out from the Black Rose, she got teleported to some place, I'm pretty sure she was, she, it's like a fair enough distance she could walk home, but she just got teleported to some, like, desert, it was like, bro, what, but no, she, like, it's, it's not a, you know, a major issue, I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's like, where the fuck was she? She just walked all the way to to uh, to peel over from that distance, but all right. Uh, yeah, she confronts Jace, and they both, you know, uh, confront each other about like, or well, mostly Jace confront Mel about um, Mel about um, you know, um, uh, of her using him and Victor of the hex tech and and all that, and then uh victor's like minions you know intervene and trying to you know reach hex tech and jace you know defends himself and 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 mel and stopped him his minions and stuff like that so for pursuing his um his goal which of course that doesn't work and that's after the um that minion got killed he's like um continue the uh, the, the test to the um I'll just call him Singer you know you know who I'm talking about uh, Singer's gonna get f- finish the uh, the experiments and bring the wolf back uh, the war wolf back to life and then he become consumed by Victor and now, now he has an army he now has an army um, of floating golden people, um, oh yeah, um, we also we get to, um, Vi waking up in Caitlyn's room, and she confronts, uh, Caitlyn, uh, you know, both of her, you know, the double standards and all that, and Caitlyn says that she locked up Jinx, because Jinx wanted to be locked up, because after losing the girl, she doesn't have a life anymore, so she locks locks herself up. And Vi confronts her, and Jinx didn't want it. And she, after talking to Silco, you know, in her head, she leaves and just enter. It's really going to end herself. Um, after you know that she didn't want to hear from Vi, Silco, and or anyone else. So yeah, she's gonna end herself by blowing herself up. Um, and of course, the Vi and Kayla had their moment in the, in the jail cell, but yeah, it's, it's whatever. Um, you know, good for them, but it's, it's, it, it's just, eh, you know, I'm not that crazy about it. Um, and then we get the moment of like, yeah, like I said, um, Jinx about to blow herself up and then Echo saving, saving the day actually and confronts Jinx and that, and also have like that cool shot or cool moments of sequences of him going, you know, back four seconds before, you know, of before uh, Jinx blowing herself up, um, you know, ending herself multiple times. And Echo finally got her to calm down and have a moment to talk, which we don't even get. But we know, like, Echo's got her to, you know, to, to, um, Echo got to her to find her purpose, right? So, I'm pretty sure that's all that happened in episode 8, if I remember correctly. Because other than that, like, because I can get to 9, where pretty much it's the final battle. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, that, that is about it, so yeah. Um, 9, Dirt Under Your Nails, is the, um, the ending of the whole journey of everyone so 
Uh, yeah, so everyone, Zon and Piltover are joining yeah, Alliance as I kind of predicted. I don't remember what I said in the last video, but it was it was something like correlated to Noxus fighting Piltover and Zon. And, it, and yeah, it's literally what happened in episode 9. Um, to become a truce with one another, oh, yeah, with one another, so it's cool to see that, um, um, working together, and Nox is working with the two scientists, doctor th guys, Sing uh, Singer and Victor, uh, and, and Bessa fighting against everyone, so, um, yeah, like everyone is joining um, alliance and fight against Ambessa's army, and and literally recapturing is literally recapturing the game of like the um, of the big guy carrying the um, honestly I'm talking about Overwatch, but also like, but you know like it's like a very gaming mechanic of like the big guy carrying the the objective, defending the objective, carrying the 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 big guy carrying the objective too though cross the map and all that that's you know a uh, very uh neat thing to to, uh, to bring up um yeah i uh, literally it's war like there's not a lot for i don't want to be too specific what happened but you know people die left and right um the drunk the guy died uh vice uh yeah it's about everyone saw that vice saw it um the fish guy uh, actually, you know, had a moment of like, uh, you know, it didn't work, but at least he had a moment of like doing something relevant of putting the um, the bomb thing to the core to explode, but it didn't. So his whole moment wasn't that worthy, but, you know, at least we got him to do something. So even to, to this just looking back and after watching the whole second season, this fish guy was not relevant at all. Same as the drunk guy. Like, but at least drunk guy has more of a moment, moments with Vi, so at least like, he wasn't too pointless, but compared to the fish guy, the, fi the fish guy did fucking nothing, so I don't know, I'm sorry, but I don't know what the fuck was this guy even about to begin with, but, you know, whatever. <coughs> Like, at least it did something, but, like, it wasn't something that should be credited for, so it's like, what, whatever. Um, um, Maddie, you know, um, the, her whole betrayal against Caitlyn was not expect, I was not expecting that at all. I did thought about it at one point where she, I was like, like, who's going to be the culprit? Is, is it Maddie? Is she the spy? You know, it was it was that idea back in my head, but I wasn't. I didn't say it. I remember. I know. I I remember. I didn't say it in my two last last two videos of my breakdowns because it was like, what would Maddie betray Caitlyn? And when it happened, I was I was still surprised. I was like, what? So she was working for Imbeso for what reason? Ah, uh, if I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have. She didn't. I don't know. She, I don't think they. She had a. They didn't say she has a reason. I think she just, I think she just betrayed Caitlyn because she's loyal to Ambessa. Because I think Ambessa got her, and but it doesn't matter anyway because she has a good reason or not because she got killed by her own bullets from Mel, so that was interesting or not interesting. That was actually like shocking to say at least because I was not expecting I was not expecting her to die from Mel, that and also from her own bullets. It's really ironic um or like um what's the word for it a term what's the term for it comedically ironic or something like that i don't know what's the saying goes but it's something like that that she died from her own bullets but you know who cares um yeah what do we had a whole caitlin and mel fight against um a miranda uh, it's not Miranda, I'm sorry. Um, Amanda. Not Amanda. Whatever, I'll call her Amanda. Whatever. Uh, it's, I'm really, it's literally early in the morning when this three episodes was released, so I'm, I'm sorry that um, I'm all over the place and sound tired. 
and got the names wrong, but listen, I had to get this video out somehow, so, also, like, it's fresh in my mind, so why not just get this out the way so I don't have to do this again, especially for the next upcoming um, League of Legends series that I'm pretty sure we're going to focus on Noxus next, for the next series, and when it does, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna do this again. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna wait till morning, cause, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll do this again. <laughs> but you know, it was it was a good watch anyway. Um, yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, back to the review. Um, or the breakdown. Um, yeah, like Caitlyn and Mel fights against Amanda. Um, and it was really, really, you know, really sick, intense fight scenes where Amanda, it shows um, Amanda, uh, Miranda, uh, you know, showing it that she's actually, like, no joke. Um, Vi and Jinx and Echo, oh, mostly uh, Vi and Jinx team up working together to fight and fight against uh, the Beowulf slash wolf, war, war wolf guy. Um, was good. Um, it was enjoyable. Jace confronts, uh, Victor. Um, that whole th shtick. Um, and also the Jinx's new outfit, I really, or for what we got of her outfit, it's really, you know, Jinx. I really like her new look. Do Now, compared to her and Vi... I think I like Jinx's old look than her new one, and for Vi, I like her new one instead of her old one, if that makes sense. Um, I like the Vi's emo look, and I like Jinx's old look, uh, then the whole, you know, teeth thing, but it still looks good, you know, good, solid, but I, I just preferred her old one. Um, it looks looks more snazzy than, than this, but, you know, that's just me. Um... Yeah, Harmendinger died. Uh, most of Nox's people, um, oh, sorry, um, uh, Piltover soldiers died. Um, a lot of people were injured, but they didn't really die. So, it, yeah, just a lot of people that just the side characters just died. In the, a lot of side characters died in the front field. So, it's not a lot I can say other than like you know little like you know. Um, specific uh, moments where, you know, throughout the whole st um, series or season two, especially where, you know, the gray, the gas mask going on, um, the um, the spears and the bullets and Echo's device and all, all in that, everything like that was really cool to see it go down. Um, yeah, and it, Victor had a, and Jace had a whole confrontation about about the magic thing. And Echo, I'll, yeah, skip through all that. Echo saves the day um, with his device and got, and got it to explode to snap Victor back to reality, I think. And it, and that's another thing that's like, uh, that is like odd to me. Like that whole, there's like this whole moment of like Victor finally realizing that what he's doing is wrong. And I was like, so from that little jar of like the um, of the arcane that he sees that he that was enough for him to realize that what he's doing is wrong is that what i'm getting at is that what i'm getting at where because it he sees it or it explodes that got him to be like oh what have i done i've done such a poor job or is it because he like or something that like he saw like comfort um jace is like you know negative zone thing of him talking to like the mage and the mage was victor the old victor the whole time now i don't know if that was really what happened or it was just him telling old you know alternate perspectives of like him seeing through time and like um he was no matter what victor and jace are always been together this whole time no matter what but, like they're always meant to be together you know um Homo or not, I don't know. This, this I, I think, I don't know if this means like this is like a huge, but more than a thing, or just like you know, as like a real, you know, working partners thing, acquaintances. I don't know what their relationship is anymore. 
if I'll be honest. But I'm pretty sure like them like this all signifies them being like um good working lab partners like cuz like it like let's be honest like if if it was more than just partners then they would have just show more touching, you know. That's just me. But I'm pretty sure that like they they are meant to be like like you know partners like like besties as like the, the that that type of relationship they had um and they did have that like that sweet relationship of of them wanting to do good with what they got with magic and stuff like that but what well, yeah whatever um and yeah some something like that convinces him that like what well, he's uh, he needs to do he he could you know he needs to do this on his own but Jace comes in with the with the gem he's like no we're doing gonna change this together as you know as um as partners and so both of them conjoined or something some like they both like hold on to the gem and and they, um you know holding each other to then teleport somewhere so. And that's the thing, another thing I want to bring up. So, either this time, they die like Harmoninger, or they actually got teleported somewhere else. Which, I think, that, I think my theory was, like, in the, some point in, at the end, they both gonna teleport to somewhere else. But now, I did say that it was gonna be early, and we're not gonna see them again, after, like, what, the first act. But then I was wrong. It was the, the final chapter. They went somewhere else at the finale. So I do think that I don't think they die. I don't think they they are dead. I think there's from that like like bubble alone of uh, of them not being teleported out of there. I think they just gone somewhere around around uh, the world than than being dead. Because I think Harmerdinger did die, but uh, for this I, for them I I don't think I don't think they're dead. I don't really I don't really, I really don't think so. I don't think they died. Again, I could be wrong, but I, I'm very highly pot. Very, it's very high that I think they're not dead. High chance they're not dead. That's all I'm gonna say. Um. Uh, enough for um. Uh, repeating myself. Um. We and we then we get to have a final moment between Jinx Vi, you know, moments together again of the whole. You know, saving each other. You know, saving each. You know, your sisters back. You know, each other's. You know, backs and all whatnots. And this is the fun. Um. This is the point of the story where. By guess um. Jumped by the um, war war wolf guy, and Jinx makes her final decision to save her sister one last time sacrificing herself and just go out with a bang with the wolf and they both died question mark we don't know if the the wolf guy is alive or he's actually is just evaporated with jinx or jinx somehow teleported like that that is a just i think that's just like up in the air that is jinx actually is dead is the wolf guy actually dead you know who knows that is way more of a mystery than like a um, resolution type type and type um ending for them. Cause I don't think it's a clear um is it there's I don't think there's any clear evidence that both of them are dead or or alive, other than them being missing. So. If I had to guess, real quick, I think both of them died. Right. Now, would that make me feel better or make more sense? Do I feel good about that? Eh. Eh, you know. Of her being the final, the the one character to die in this whole war. I, I was not expecting. I thought it would be Jace, to be honest. I thought it would be Caitlyn. Mel, but Jinx to die, I was not expecting that. I'll give him that, but for her to die like that, it's like, I don't know. I think I prefer to be alive, I'll be honest, but 
for what it was and for what it is, what we got. I'm not complaining. It's fine. But I really prefer to be alive. That's all I'm going to say. Um, <clears throat> but who knows? Maybe she's alive. You know, time will tell. Um, and then, yeah, we get the finale of like, uh, you know, Jason and Victor are gone. We don't know where they went. Vi's with Caitlyn. Um, Mel is leading Noxes and Zahn and Piltover are, you know, working together finally. And which, uh, you know, brings up that um, Savika is part of the council. So she's finally, you know, um, you know, do something important and being in charge of the... Um, of Zon, so she's like actually you know part of the council of leading Zon. So there's a bright side to that. Um of of Zon and Piltover, you know, finally being in an alliance working together at last. Um Yeah. Um Yeah, that is pretty much it. That's other than like um what I'm about to say, but I'll you know, I'll say it later. Um, so yeah, besides besides that, uh, other than that, well, what we got, and also you know, Echo saying his blessings and all that. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the end of the episode. And that's and as also the end of the series. As also the end of the season. And that's the finale. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, now let me just quickly sum it up of how I feel review wise how do I feel about this whole season the whole journey um how I feel of it as a whole um you know a lot of questions or a lot of like you know emotions here and there um how I feel of it overall is Um, I know, like, generally, general-wise, um, sorry, generally, uh, for people, uh, how they get like and rate it, I know it's gonna be good. I, like, it's already, like, have good ratings on it anyway, well, before it was even done, so, so I know it's gonna be successful for what it was and what's gonna be, um, Yeah, um, so for me, uh, how I feel of overall the whole journey, um, I just need a minute to process, um, this whole thing, um, I'll quickly say that, yes, I think season one is the better season, like, if we talk about, like, um, we're writing, like, we're judging this by, like, which one is the better, well, put out season, right? What's well structured, well paced, and all that. Like, you know, what's, what, what, like, which season has the best, um, understanding of the whole story and know how to focus specific plots that, that need, is needed for, for the story to make sense, right? I say that season one is the best better the better season for that and season two has the best outcome the best ending i'll say for arcane now yeah um season one is great and i'll say season two is good the reason why i don't say great is that Cause like I said, I have like some flaws, and now like looking it back over some episodes, and after finishing it now, I'll definitely say that like there is some moments in pacing, not pacing issues. Actually, yeah, there is some like some structure and pacing issues I do had that I don't l- that, that not not the like I'm just disappointed with the um, well how it um executed. Especially with like Caitlyn and Vi, you know, relationship, um, being very back and forth, right? Not enough of them being together, right? As a relationship, as a couple, right? That that's my 
big issue for trying to convince me, um, trying to deliver, you know, a good couple to me. Um, in the end, I, I still was like, you know, when they finally, you know, had their make out session, it was really like meh for me. Because it, it wasn't like season one was a lot more stronger with their relationship, but when we get to season two, it's really like. You know, back and forth. Oh, you didn't do this. Oh, you, I lost this, and you're not in our way. Da, 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 da. This is and that. You know, there was a lot of that, and I didn't really like like them, like the relation all that much when they were like you know together. But it was okay, whatever. At the end, how it would turn out. So it was. It, it's fine. Like, like for what he got, for what it was, you know, they're fine. I don't just. I don't like you know crazy for them it was just okay um another um another issue i'll point out what i um that i just discovered or um or realized at the moment um after finishing the you know the second episode of my breakdown of act two where um uh i should know before i get, get into that let me quickly say this the um, the whole council of the uh of the underground of Zon really was like really half baked because the because um this guy Zeke right here you know we only get to around to to develop and and uh, literally have one of the the the, um, the members being taken out, that being taken out, right? But we don't know what happened to the other two mob, mob leaders, mobster leaders. You know, the guy with the, you know, the fat chin and the girl with the spandex, the leather one. You know what I'm talking about? We don't know what happened to them. All we know is the upper in interpretation of like, oh, Jinx killed them or Sofika kicked them out. We don't know. We just know that the, 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 um, the, the rat guy uh, Misk, Misk, whatever his name is, we know that he died, and it was important, so, so, yeah, like, at least, at least we get to see him, you know, go, um, go all out, go all out and die, right, but for the other counselors, we don't know what happened to them, I looked, I look back again, and I'm definitely confirming that we don't know what the hell happened to them, where, where are they at, where they're, where they, where they, where, where are they even at after this whole riot thing? Like, we don't know what happened to them other than they're just missing. And it's like, okay. So, th like, that's a, like, that's a one, th the, one of the things I, that was very disappointed where, like, they didn't even do anything with these two other than Zeke. But, like, yeah, they were just, like, in the background, just fighting each other. And it was like, uh, okay. Um, and, and, I, and uh, I heard like a lot of people or what, you know, one YouTube specifically complaining about like Zeke of like, you know, um, oh, sorry, not Zeke, um, uh, Echo and Harmdinger of like, you know, sneaking into the, to, uh, Piltover and people and that this specific YouTubers complaining that like, um, uh, what time, uh, how, uh, you know that they get in there are like aren't they supposed to be security uh what are you you know tiptoeing like that it's kind of cringe uh i don't appreciate that uh this is kind of stupid like this doesn't match timeline how the hell they get get up there so fast you know all that um for me i was definitely say it's annoying but i wouldn't say it ruins my experience is i would say it's like very i do see like it, it um you know it's very like hard to like especially to understand like the timing of like okay so this is what, this is how much time this guy went over there and this guy shouldn't shouldn't be done till till this point of the story and this this and that so um i would definitely say it, um definitely the one of the um um flaws the, the of arkin had it was like the of time of like how much was done how much time was spent on this how long ago how long ago how early was did, did this happen you know 
you know, they, they, like, don't get me wrong, like, they did also have that issue in season one. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, like, and that's about it, um, for, oh yeah, and then he, the whole thing of Caitlyn becoming, like, a commander, you know, the, the whole look of the dictatorship, right, of martial law, of Caitlyn leading was really pointless, because they, especially they made her out to be a threat, and they do nothing about it until she was, like, you know, focused mostly on the background and, like, being a detective from, like, episode five, was it? But other than that, like, she didn't really do much as a threat. So her whole, like, appearance of being, like, this commander, oh, this is getting serious. And she didn't do shit. M- Am- like, Amara, Amer- what's her name? Amanda, murdered, murdered, whatever. She mostly did all the, 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 the she mostly did all the, the, the heavy lifting. Mostly on the front lines, literally doing most of the action. Caitlyn, Caitlyn was literally like watching and, and and like like speculating with Maddie, and that's about it. Um, so that was that was, that's definitely disappointing to me. Um, um, of course, like here nitpicks here, Nero Vander, and like the backstory with that. But I think the backstory was okay overall. You know, it was, did what it needs to be done. Um, episode four, I will definitely say, I have some issues with it. Where like, um, again with like, Jinx Revolution was really like random. It would have been helped if it was fleshed out a bit more. Where you know the little girl and Silvika work together, maybe not together together, but like, in her own way, independently trying to hype up the people, hype up, hyping up the people of, like, Jinx is the key, she's the hero that we needed, like, look what she has done to the, the you know, Piltover and all that, would have actually helped the whole, you know, revolution make more sense and clearer, as Jinx wasn't, you know, give a shit about it at the time, so it would make more sense if the girl was planting seeds the whole time with, with or without Savika, would have helped a lot, and also Savika's arm should be, like, a joke, I really think that they should have. They, I don't think they should have just joke and hammed it up all that much of losing the arm being, you know, a waste of our time, and it is still a waste of our time because you know it wasn't that special anyway till like the very end. Um, until she got it fixed, I don't know. But I th- also things to nitpick that like you know like. It is whatever that like that she lost her arm again, but it is. But to me, it's kind of annoying that she keeps losing her arm. Like this, and it's kind of like a running joke. There's like a running joke of like, of an of annoyance, then the charming, you know. And also another thing about so uh, about episode four, sorry, um, I'm stumbling, uh, is that um, this this um. Piltover guard was like, you are a jinx. You know, you don't talk about this. There's a scene of like jinx showing herself, and then the guard was like, wait a minute, who are you? You're not jinx. Jinx won't show herself up. You you look like a clown, a party like a circus act. What, what are you? What, what the fuck are you supposed to be? Who are you? What's your name? And it's like, even though people are like you know trying to be like jinx, first of all. She's not supposed to be there, so she should be arrested, right? And number two, like, why would you entertain this? The this random like hooligan is saying that she's Jinx. You literally just gonna be like, um, actually, you're not Jinx. So the Jinx doesn't show her herself like that that easily. Even so, why would you just talk to someone that isn't supposed to be up there with you and just? You know, giving herself up that easy. Like, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. Um, that's like, those are like the three major issues I have with episode four. And after that, other than that's whatever, right? Because then, because, because, because when, besides that aside, it does get good again. I did enjoy like, for what most it has to offer. With four and then five was good, six was good, um, 
seven, eight, and nine are all good. Like, well, for the most part, is I did enjoy myself. They're all really well, well round up, good episodes, good season as a whole, good series. Um, like yeah, like after like the, um, like season two having his most flawed issues than season one has it's still like a really good entertaining solid show solid season um that's why i wouldn't give it a great but i will give it a good because because even still with his flaws and cons i really disapprove of and the caitlin you know caitlin i think could be my least favorite character out of this whole um this whole um show uh, the whole story, whatever. I still um, appreciate it, enjoy it, and of course, like, you know, support it. Like, everything it has done is really, like, very solid. Solid work. Um, I know, like, a lot a lot of, like, you know, professional critics are just gonna be like, this is pain. This doesn't make sense. All people are stupid. This is this and that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll... If I, I'll you know, get around to review it, why they feel that way with Arcane. Because I know they, like, season 1 and season 2, they're like, oh, this is trash, like, what the fuck? This shit doesn't make any sense. I mean, they're bloody fucking stupid. Like, does she have a brain or something? They, like, holy fuck, like, I'm with, with fucking retards and shit. Like, I know, like, these, like, <laughs> British YouTubers are just clowning this shit to pieces, but, like, I don't know. But of course, I'll get around to why they 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 say they say uh, say so and said so or whatever. Uh, I'll I'll get around to find out why. But for what I you know experienced from from what from my own eyes, right? Um, for what I got from this, you know, not great, but I think this is a very good um adaptation show story game series whatever you call it. I find this really, really um. Um, good. Yeah, I, I think that's all I need, needed to say. And I think this is just really, really solid stuff. Um, and I like what they did with most of the characters. Um, if I had to say real quick, um, I think Vi's story was very hit or miss. In my opinion, especially and especially Caitlyn, Caitlyn's, uh, Vice keeps like fucking having emotional breakdowns over and over again, crying and crying over the, for fucking for everything for well, mostly the dude like Jinx and Caitlyn. She keeps crying about uh, crying for, cry, uh, yeah, just keep crying about, um, about either one of them and Vander. So there's that Caitlyn. You know, um, very swish, swip, swap, swip, swip, swappy with the, with how she feels about the whole, you know, Jinx situation and Vi. Um, I like Harmon Digger a lot more, a lot more. I like Harmon Digger in episode seven than when he was in episode four. I'll definitely say that. Um, uh, Echo, I do like him a lot more now. Not my favorite character. Not my favorite character character at all. But I do like him a lot more now than what he what did what I felt about him on season one. Because people are over hyping him. I was like, I don't see that shit. And I still don't. But uh, hey, I at least like him a lot more now, after the third act, than what he than how I felt about him back then. Um, you know, weeks ago and even. Even years ago, when I, he was first first introduced, firstly introduced, that he was just like okay at best, but now he's definitely like a lot higher. Um, uh, I do like where Jace was going. Uh, Victor was also decent. S- um, the Sing guy, si- Singe, Singe, Singed, Singed, um. Uh, oh yeah, like him with his, you know, he fi- he fixed his daughter, daughter, back to life. So at least that that's good to know. So so at least he be, he's happy at the end. Um, 
for you know what what he has done, but you know that's a different story. I think his story was was decent enough. Mel Mel's was interesting. Um, like yeah, like everyone has their own story, and I think they did what they got done decently, decently well done. Um. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I'm trying to figure out if that's all I wanted to say because this is the end of Arcane. So I want to make sure I got everything I needed to say before I end this video. Um, if anything pops up in my head, I will I will bring it up for like another video. But I think for what it. But for what I have said, I'm pretty sure that's all I got to say. I think that's all I need, needed to say. For right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think I'm good. That's that's pretty much it. That's that's the end. This is the end of the review. That's the end of Arcane. Um Arcane, yeah. Uh I highly recommend it if you're interested. Um Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to if I'm deciding if I want to make more videos about Arcane. If I'm interested, sure. Um, I pretty much said what I needed to say. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, enjoy this video. Sorry. Um. Uh, and give me your input on how you feel about Arcane. Um. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it's good enough for for uh, for for season two and as an ending of the whole f story of the you know of Vi and Jinx and everyone else in this uh, series. Um, yeah, um, that is it. Uh, have a good day, uh, and I'll see you guys later.